welcome to The Daily English Show. The video I recommend today is an instructional video about how to open a bottle with one hand. The guy in the video only has one hand, so the video is partly to help people who only have one hand, but as he says in the description, it's also useful for people who want to be ready for the worst case scenario that they suddenly have only one free hand and have to dismantle a bomb that is hidden inside a bottle. I think the video is interesting partly because his delivery is quite entertaining. And the main reason why I recommend studying English with this video is because following instructions and giving instructions is a very important part of learning English. And it doesn't matter if the actual information isn't always directly useful for you. You can still pick up some useful language and grammar structures. For example, what I like to do is you should be able to... Here's what you can do. One tip though, make sure... Kia ora, in stick news today, an American boy who wore the same shirt every day for four years has finally changed his shirt. In 2003, a seven-year-old boy called David was given a football jersey for Christmas. It was the number four jersey for an American football team from Wisconsin called the Green Bay Packers. David put the jersey on and continued wearing it every day until his 12th birthday. He wore the jersey for a total of 1,581 days and took it off on the 24th of April 2008. And that was Stick News for Thursday the 8th of May. Kia ora. Today's word is willy-nilly. This is an adverb which doesn't have anything to do with anything else in today's show. I just heard it on a podcast a couple of days ago and I remembered how much I like this word. Willy-nilly has a couple of meanings. I only ever use it to mean haphazardly or randomly, at random, indiscriminately, arbitrarily, every which way. Here's an example of how you can use willy-nilly from the headline of a blog entry. Effective writing. Don't place those commas willy-nilly. There are rules. Isn't it strange how you try opening a jar for ages? And as soon as you give it to someone else, they can open it straight away. Doesn't it happen to you? because you get tired and the second person is fresh. And you've already weakened the, what do you call it? What do you mean? Hmm, you're probably just weak. Yeah, yeah, I'm kidding. There's a reason for that, though. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you've weakened the vacuum or seal or whatever. But it's not just that. I also think it might be kind of psychological, too. Well, the second person knows how satisfying it'll be to be able to open the jar when the first person couldn't, and that desire releases a kind of adrenaline type thing which gives them extra strength. Something that sits in the ground and remains in the same spot for hundreds of years but manages to jump out in front of you on your way home from the pub. Tree. Where you live if you live in a house. House. An animal who enjoys flying and tweeting. Bird. An orange vegetable that grows in the ground and tastes good when ripe. Carrot. An animal that lives in the water and swims. They might kill you in some instances. Fish. And that was The Daily English Show. See you tomorrow. Bye.